sleep paralysis. Well, sleep paralysis is one of those things that everybody experiences it, but most people don't remember it because they're asleep. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you how to have sleep paralysis, how to actually make sure that you experience it, because for whatever crazy reason, you know, maybe you want a lucid dream, maybe you wanna just see what it's like, or maybe you just, you're curious. Maybe you're a horror fan and you just wanna see what the sleep paralysis demon is actually really like. Whatever the reason, in this video, I'm gonna share how you can actually do it. So let's just get straight into it. Make sure to subscribe and you know all the usual stuff, click the notification bell. So sleep paralysis is where your body essentially paralyzes your muscles to enable you to sleep without acting out your dreams and going crazy and kicking things and punching your partner and breaking your bed and all of this stuff, sort of thing. So it's a good thing. However, what most people find is that when they actually experience it, it feels really scary. It's like something's pressing down on your chest. It's like there's a weird figure in the back of the room, like a weird slender man type thing. Maybe it's like a weird demon or whatever, okay? The point is it's, it's not a comfortable experience. It's quite a scary or unusual, weird horror type experience. Sleep paralysis is not really something that most people want to have. It's kind of something that uh, a lot of people do experience, just like nightmares, just like recurring dreams or whatever, false awakenings. It's one of those things that you can't really help but experience at some point in your life. But for whatever reason, you clicked on this video, you wanna learn how to actually do it because maybe you've read stories about it or you just wanna see what it's like. So here's, here are the steps you need to take in order to actually have sleep paralysis and in order to sort of guarantee that you'll have it in the next few days, okay? So number one, you need to make sure that you are tired and that you're gonna to go to sleep and you wanna be confident that you're gonna fall asleep relatively quickly when you lay down to go to bed. You don't wanna be in the situation where you're not tired enough to fall asleep because the whole point of sleep paralysis is that your body thinks you're asleep or your mind, I should say, thinks you're asleep. So it paralyzes your muscles. If you're not tired enough to even fall asleep, then <laughs> nothing's gonna happen. You know, you're not gonna experience sleep paralysis because you need to sleep properly in order for it to happen. I hope that makes sense so far. So the next thing is, like I said, you need to be tired enough to fall asleep. You need to just lay there, lay in the bed, ideally on your side, okay? But you can also lay on your back and just don't move any muscles. Literally, that's all you need to do. It's as simple as that. Just don't move any muscles. Just keep yourself in the bed without moving anything, without thinking anything if you can. Even your facial muscles and your neck, your shoulders, your jaw, your tongue, all of these muscles can they can quite easily be tense without you realizing that you're doing it. So try and just focus on relaxing all of your muscle groups. Don't move anything. And if you do this wrong, then you'll see something like this in your room. I'm just kidding, that's not really what you'll see, although it can be. Depends on the experience, really, but okay. So if you do this right, what will happen is after a few minutes, you'll start feeling like there's a weight pressing down on your chest. It might feel like you can't breathe, but that's not the case. You can breathe. Um, you are breathing. In fact, the whole, t you know, throughout this whole experience, you'll be breathing as normal. But, you know, it might feel like you're not breathing. It might feel like you're struggling for air. Uh, just tell yourself before you begin this, tell yourself before you start that that's normal. It's not going to kill you. OK, it's, it's a normal part of the experience. It happens to everyone. OK, that's kind of how it feels. And it's not really, there's not really anything pressing down on your chest, by the way. It just feels like that because that's what the experience of having your muscles paralyzed feels like to you. Some people don't experience that. Some people will just feel like there's a vibration or a weird static energy going through their body. Or some people even report hearing weird noises. OK, it, it varies from person to person. The point is, you're going to feel something. You're going to feel some kind of weird experience when you've been laying there long enough that your sleep paralysis has started to kick in. Now, at this point, you can panic. If you try and panic at this point, nothing's really going to happen. You might wake up in a few minutes, whatever. Um, the point is, usually sleep paralysis will just run its course and turn into either a dream, a nightmare, a lucid dream, or you'll just wake up because you're too scared. There's not a lot you can do to control sleep paralysis other than, I guess, turning it into one of those things, lucid dreaming, a dream, or just waking up. Okay, so if you want to escape sleep paralysis, well, I have another video for that. You can check the link in the description or just go on my channel. Um, because I guess for this video, you, you want to actually experience sleep paralysis for whatever reason. Here are the reasons you might want to experience sleep paralysis. The first one, and I guess this is kind of the most obvious one, okay? And especially if you're watching this channel, you want a lucid dream. And it's very well known that when you have sleep paralysis, it will lead to a lucid dream. It doesn't always, but usually it will lead to either a dream, nightmare, or a lucid dream. Here, in another video, I explained how you can 
um, turn it into a lucid dream. But that's probably why you're trying to induce sleep paralysis in the first place. Unless you're a horror fan. And I'd really like to know, by the way, so leave a comment down below letting me know why you want to experience sleep paralysis. But that is how you do it, okay? That's how you experience sleep paralysis. You just basically do those things. And uh, there's a few things you need to be careful of. For example, the sleep paralysis, I guess you could say the demon, the sleep paralysis demon or the hat man or whatever it is, the shadow man. None of that is actually a real thing. It's not gonna harm you in any way. It's just a figment of your imagination. It's not a real entity that can damage you or do anything to you. It's not real. It's all in your head. It's all in you know this incredible machine that we call our brains. None of it is real. So don't be worried if you if you do see that. Like if you see a weird, like really scary looking tall figure like that in your dreams, and it's just looking down on you, and uh, you know that's normal. And it's not actually in the room with you. What's actually happening is when you see that thing. Uh, I guess you could call it the sleep paralysis demon. When you see that demon looking down on you, it's basically the, what it is is you're dreaming about being in your room. So you're half awake, half asleep, but you're seeing things that are in your dream and putting them into where you actually are in your room. So it's kind of a confusing experience and that's why it can feel so realistic. It can feel so real because you're dreaming about the room you're in. And because you're half awake and half asleep, it's like you can't really tell the difference between what's real and what's a dream. So yeah, it can be scary. Okay, it can feel like it's real. It can feel like there's actually something in the room with you, but I promise you there's not, okay? It's all in your mind. And you can confirm this, by the way. If you wanna start, if you're really worried about it, you could set up a camera. You could literally film yourself during the night and then see on the camera, like, did sleep paralysis demon actually happen? No, it was all in my mind. And maybe if you did that, it would reinforce the idea. It would, I guess, soothe your mind, encourage you and reassure you that there's nothing to worry about. It's not a real danger. And like I've said, if you do, if you do want to turn sleep paralysis into a lucid dream, there are many ways of doing that. Please check out my channel. Go and look at the other videos I have on there. And I'll see you in the next video.